Hi there, welcome back to Resin by Drew. Today I'm going to make um, some 3D bloom flowers, um, but I'm going to do them slightly differently. Today I'm going to use uh, my normal white pigment paste to do the blooms, but I'm also going to do another layer of blooms using mica powder. Now I have done mica, just mica powder blooms before and they have worked out nicely. Um, but because I've not done them for so long, I thought just to double my chances of getting things right, I would include the white uh, pigment as well. So let's get going. I've got my resin mixed up already. Um, it's been standing for about 20 minutes because it's not very, it's not as warm today. So I'm going to pop some um, resin into my. I've got two cups on the go here. One for the um, mica. Um, for the blooms and one for the white pigment for the 3D blooms so I've got those on the go so I'm just putting the resin in the pots for those and then I'm going to share the resin out between my moulds the moulds that I'm using is I think it's the, the I can't speak the geranium mould from Moulds and Shapes it's a lovely mould it's nice to work with make sure everyone's got a fair share of resin just spread it out as I always say I don't need a deep layer on this first layer I just need a good covering on the bottom to get the flowers going the resin out to the edges you could do it with a heat gun but it's just as easy for me to do it with a lollipop stick or a popsicle stick while I've got that in my hand okay so I'm going to make up my um, pigments and well my pigment and my mica that I'm going to be using for my um, 3D blooms so I'm using um, Perlex powder in pink gold it is, yeah pink gold and I'm adding that I'm adding quite a lot a good I'm adding a good scoop I don't know if you can see that I'm adding a good scoop of that to the tub and I'm also adding a little bit because I didn't want it too pink um, I'm also adding a little bit of Cosmic Shimmer in Rocket Red to the tub as well. You can see that is quite a red colour. The Pink Gold is a colour shift one. So I'm just adding a little bit of the Rocket Red to it. So I don't want it to be too dark, but I don't want it to be too pink either. So I'll just give that a stir. We'll see what colour that comes out as. In fact, I'll do it away from the um, moulds because... Um, I have a tendency for the mica powder to go flying everywhere so I don't want it to go flying in the moulds yet that's a nice colour I'm, I'm really ha I'm happy with that colour really happy with that so I'm going to put that straight into my piping bag And then I'm going to make up my white pigment that I'll be using as well. And as I usually do for a white pigment, I'm using Resitint Max in titanium white and a few drops of my Pinata Pearl Alcohol Ink. Now, I've not used this. Um, pigment for a couple of days so I'm going to give it a really good stir first get all the goodness mixed in together do the sides and the bottom and then I'm going to scrape it off and that's all I'm putting into the tub as you can see there's barely anything left on that stick there so I'm just putting that into the tub if 
that a good mix. See where I've got a few drops of mica powder that floated into there, but it won't matter because they'll just go into the overall design of it, so it's not an issue. But that's why it's always best to mix your mica powder away from your moulds. I'm going to add um, six drops of the Piñata Pearl alcohol in. I just need to give it a good shake first because it has been standing for a couple of days and it just tends to separate. Put six drops in. Give it another good stir. And then that can go into my other piping bag. I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm so used to doing the white and I know what sort of colour it needs to be. But there's quite a few times where I don't actually check the colour of my stick by cleaning the stick with the tissue first and then checking. I just pour it straight into the piping bag. But that's just experience that's taught me that, that's all. I should probably do it each time to remind you to do it and to help. Um, but um, I do forget because, like I say, it's just experience and I'm so used to doing it. Okay, so I'm using two alcohol inks um, to add colour to the, um, to the base of the flowers. I'm using Resinate in Eggnog, which is one of my absolute favourites at the moment. And I'm using Resinate in Chi Chi. They're both are alcohol inks. Let's give that a shake. So I think we'll do them slightly different. We'll do two and two. So we'll do this eggnog can go in the middle of this of two of them with Chi Chi around the edge. And then on the other two I'll do it the reverse with Chi Chi in the middle and eggnog around the edge. I'm putting four drops in each of the petals because they are quite a big area to fill. And then I'll put Chi Chi in the middle on these two. Surrounded by eggnog. surprising how much the dropper actually holds. I was just trying to see then how long it would take before I needed to fill it up. There we go. So now I'm ready for my um, my white pigment and my mica to do my um, flowers. So I'm going to start off with the mica first. I'm just going to snip a couple of millimetres off the end. I'll check the size of the hole. That's okay. So I'm going to come around and I'm going to do ever decreasing circles with the um, with the mica. or ever decreasing triangles should I say. The 
the hole could probably do with being a little tiny bit bigger to be fair but we'll see how we go I didn't want it too big so I want control over it because I want to get the white in there as well I don't want all the space taken up <coughs> excuse me by the mica so I want to get the white in there as well so I didn't want the hole too big but of course if you don't have the hole big enough then there's not enough um, pigment coming out so you don't get the desired effect I'm putting quite a bit of pressure on the piping bag to um, to get the mica out at the moment. But it's coming out, it's okay, we're doing okay. going to make that hole a fraction bigger just in case I need to use that again. It's my scissors that actually need cleaning and sharpening that's the problem. And then I'm going to switch to my white pigment. I'm going to do the same thing, take, snip off a couple of millimetres from the end. size of the hole. That's fine. And this time I'm going to follow the shape of the mould around. going to make my hole a fraction bigger. Better. It's clogged at the moment now, let me just give it a, a clean. Sorry, if I can't, I can't remember if I mentioned that the pink gold is um, a colour changing pigment, an interference pigment, should I say? Can't remember if I told you that. Let's do a spiral in the middle.
Making a spiral in the middle. And the last one. A spiral in the middle of that one and then I'm just going to come back in with the um, the pink gold and the rocket red I'm just going to go over those one more time There we go. So now I'm just going to get my dotting tool and my silicone tool and I'm going to highlight the um, the shape of the flower. Do a little swirl in the middle. swirl And that's it that's literally all i'm going to do with them so i'm going to leave them to cure up until tomorrow tomorrow i'll be putting a backing layer on them hopefully those there will be not too much negative space showing because i want i would like to leave them as they are but maybe i will put a dark backing layer on i'll just see how they're looking tomorrow and uh, then i will be back to show you the results so that's it i'll see you shortly bye for now Hi there, welcome back. I'm going to demo all of these coasters that I made yesterday. Now, I didn't film it because I don't often film back in layers because you've seen it a thousand times before. Um, but I did put a backing layer on and in the backing layer I added a little bit of white holographic glitter just to give an extra little bit of sparkle. So let's unmold these and see how they've turned out. I'll unmold them all and then we'll turn them all over and have a look at them. They make me think candy cane from the back. I know they're not red and white, but just the colours of them make me think candy cane. So let's see what they're like from the front. I do like the colours of them from the back, so let's see what they're like from the front. Pop the mould off to one side. Let's start with this one. Oh wow, that's pretty. I do like that. Let me get some black card. I think that'll show better. The 
the mic is showing up nicely and the um, the white pigments showing up nice as well they've bloomed nicely I'm happy with that look, let's have a look at the other one that's the same as that I actually like the backs of them as well to be fair um, I prefer this side but I do like the backs of them yeah I'm happy with those let's have a look at the other colourway where I did I think that one was the eggnog surrounded by the chi chi and this one is the chi chi in the middle surrounded by the eggnog on the outside although to be fair there isn't that much difference look is there that's the um, chi chi surrounded by eggnog and that's the eggnog surrounded by chi chi and there isn't on the back there is a big difference well more of a difference but on the front there isn't that much of a difference interesting they are pretty the micros the, the micro the mic has dropped a little bit it's a bit blobby but i think that just adds to the overall effect really so i um, don't mind that at all the same with that one. Well, that one's bloomed beautifully, both with the mica and with the white pigment. Um, I think that's my favourite petal of all, that one there. That's bloomed lovely. So, yeah, I'm happy with those. I hope you like them too. I will take some still shots and I will be adding those. To, I'm just having a look at the back to see which, I, which is my favourite petal from the back. Um, I will take some still shots and I will be adding the still shots to the end of the video for you to see there. Um, and I will be back soon with another experiment. So I will say bye for now and I'll see you soon. See you shortly.